Hey, I'm Mike Donardo, and this is Garmin's Force trolling motor on a Stabycraft 1450 Frontier. This thing is the, this is one of the coolest toys we've ever got to play with. This is the 57 inch version of it. It comes in a 50 inch version. Um, I'm just gonna show you a couple of the real cool, simple features. Don't mind the battery cables down here. This customer is gonna be putting a lithium system in it, but we had to put a 24 volt system to test run this and do all the calibration. So the easy thing, get this lever, pop it, these big locking lugs pull back, you lift the sucker up, and it's got a gas shock on it. That gas shock lets it drop easily and nicely into the water. As soon as it's up, you have a display telling you all the important information. It's pairing status, so it's paired to a wireless remote. It's paired to the screen that's on the dash and it's also paired to the foot pedal. Um, you can control it three different ways. It's going to tell you uh, GPS status. It's got a built-in GPS receiver. It's built by Garmin. Of course it's got a GPS receiver. And then it's telling you your battery status. The handheld remote is sweet. It's simple. You push the button and it does what you want it to do. Left, right. It can, you can point and it's going to go whatever direction you do after you do all the calibration. Foot pedal, same thing. I can stand on here and move it left to right. It's incredibly uh, reactive. It's very, very quick to react. Um, if it's me, I'm doing most of my work on this, not on this, because it takes away the deck space, but it's a nice feature to have. Um, one really cool thing right away that we learned on this is it will do anchor point. So you push this one button and, oh, the compass is not calibrated. Okay, we gotta calibrate the compass. So it turns out calibrating the uh, GPS and that's super easy. You get on the remote, go through the settings, tell it to calibrate, and it's just like calibrating an autopilot on a big vessel. You turn the boat around in two full circles, keep the boat level. That's the exact same instructions you'd get from calibrating a Reactor 40 for, for a big screen on a big boat. Um, so, so far, the ease of use on this thing is blowing us away. So this is really cool. Okay, so we just calibrated the autopilot on this, or calibrated, sorry, the compass, the GPS uh, heading sensor. And now I can do, uh, they call most uh, gesture moves. I think that's what their marketing term is for. Basically, you hold this M button and point. And now that trolling motor is gonna take us there. This is the coolest thing ever. Now, not only that, so you've got gesture movements. I wanna hit a point, it's gonna go. Obviously, I can change the speed, I can do all that stuff. The other cool thing this does is an anchor lock. So we're going to test that out. We're in the Fraser River. The tide is currently flooding. It's coming in, which means it's a bit less pressure on it than it would be if it was an ebb flow. Um, but testing a system like this on an electric trolling motor in the Fraser River is something I would have never thought would be an effective tool. I, would, I wouldn't have guessed that this would work. And so far, I mean, there's the bridge. So this is keeping us off that bridge right now. And it's, it's pretty much working. So I'm watching the two pilings here, and I'm watching our space on the bridge, trying to gauge how much actual movement it's got. And so far, it's keeping us in between these two pilings, and maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe a six-foot swing on the back, but not really. It's actually doing a pretty good job. I'm actually really impressed with that. That is cool. And it tells you anchor lock right on the screen, and I bet you. There you go. On the display, it's also telling us anchor lock. So we have full control, not only here, uh, all, the, all the controls are on that foot pedal, um, but also on the screen, which is really nice. Okay, here we go, we're gonna try this again. I'm going to tell the boat that I wanna go to this point right here, navigate to, go to, engage the trolling motor, let's go. Oh, turn on the prop, there it goes. Apparently you have to turn the prop on. The way she goes. It's, it's good end lock mode. What alarm are we getting? Or an arrival alarm, I assume. Yep. Arriving end. Cool. Trolling motor. You're near the destination. Switch it to ankle lock mode. Oh, cool. Look at that. It's going to get us right to that point. 
that's slowing down. You can see the motor slowing itself down. It's an angle on. That is so cool. Garmin, you knocked this one out of the park. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Thank you very much for letting us be a part of this, because, uh, yeah, very, very cool. I'm Mike Denaro, thanks for watching. There's a subscribe button right over here if you want to see some more videos, subscribe to our channel, like this, say a comment about it. I don't know why they just tell you to say that when you do YouTube videos. Hit the subscribe button. I'm Mike Denaro, cheers.